to learn. I'm really excited about the speakers. Looks like it's a sellout crowd, which is really amazing, which shows the incredible need. People want to get together. The minute I heard that there was going to be a women's conference here in Los Angeles for Jewish women, I wanted to be a part of it. It's very gratifying to see so many women interested in joining us to explore ways we can improve the lot of Jewish women at home and in the workplace. I think this is one of the first times here in LA that a number of the women's organizations, uh, Jewish women's organizations are coming together. That's to me what this conference stands for. It's about women realizing that they have to take action. It's about empowering them to go out and be advocates for change. What attracted me was Jewish women together. I think that there's tremendous potential in mobilizing the women of Los Angeles and really like joining our efforts to make sure that we have the strongest impact that we can. We wanted to give people the forum to be able to learn about the health care issues and learn about what's going on in Israel. I'm so pleased to be here today to talk about health care. In the panel that I'm moderating around women's rights, women's rights, women's advocacy, and how to connect the messaging of these very important issues was kind of the focus of the panel and it was a huge success. I think the panel was great. I really uh, felt that this was one of the best panels that I've ever had been on. But I do believe that the three speakers spoke, spoke so well about what we can do. I think we gave them some tools and some advice on what they can do to make a difference. The morning's keynote speaker was, it was stunning. You know, she was, she was very powerful. Every one of us has an amazing story to tell. Um, and thank you, my mom, for being here. <laughs> my mom came with me today. Yay, mom. I'm Mayim Bialik's mother, Beverly Bialik. My hope as a speaker is always to touch someone in some way. It feels like my mom is here. It feels like she's bringing the past into the present and future. We are all someone's inspiration. We are all the beginning of someone's story. It is an honor for me to introduce Judy Stern. This is my mother, Audrey. I'm very proud to be a part of this conference today. I have to take this, I'm sorry. Oprah? Yeah, no, I'm doing it right now. My connections have grown to this place as I lead the Board of Rabbis. The opportunity to connect with not only well-respected women, but women who are truly the pioneers in their various organizations, in their various causes, that was what brought me out. When we dissolve the boundaries that say, oh, I'm a this or I'm a that, and just come together as Jewish women dealing with the issues that most affect our lives, issues of social justice, issues of health care, issues of education, of our own dreams. There is nothing more powerful than a group of women getting together trying to solve the problems of the world. Let the river so for the 200 plus women who attended the conference today who are going out into the world inspired and excited, what, uh, what would you say to them? We really believe that if we all work together, we all succeed. If they find their way to make a difference, to kind of rock the boat, then we've been successful. We can't stop. You never can stop. You have to be vigilant. How important it is for women, especially in the Jewish community, to, um, to believe in their passion and to trust that inner voice. Our story is not one of passivity. Women can be huge agents for change, far disproportionate to their numbers in society. It can feel overwhelming to aspire to changing the world, but I think that if you make a big difference in one person's life, you're changing that person's world. The feedback I'm getting is incredible. They were already asking about when is next year. I love when women get together. <laughs>